All right, y'all, it's your boy, Trey Man. Today we're going to be talking about who had the better album, bro. Lil TJ222 or King Von, grandson. Um, This will also be on my podcast, Trey Talks on Spotify. So if you guys aren't sub to it or following it, go follow it. Link down below, man. And if you are listening from Spotify, thank you so much. I love you and I appreciate you so much. Um. Yeah, give me a five star rating, please. <laughs> but yeah, y'all on Trey Talks. Um, what I want to do is sometimes make a video, and sometimes not just do the audio. Sometimes make a video for it for YouTube and for Spotify. But you know, this one where you're getting a video and the audio on Spotify. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that, man. <laughs> but y'all, so two albums dropped this past weekend on um, July 14th. We had Lil TJ's comeback album and we had king von's second post humorous album i believe that's how you said the word post humorous album um grandson man and we're gonna because a lot of people were saying tj had the better album a lot of people were saying von had the album some people said they're two different albums so you can't really compare them but you know i like to i like to compare things i would say first we're going to talk about little tj's album 222 if you haven't listened to this, I suggest you go listen to it because this is legit one of the best rap albums to, I would say, drop this year. It's like, it's really good. And I feel like TJ did what he was supposed to do on it. And I really liked it. Um, He had features from Summer Walker, Fabio Foreign, Jada Kiss, Youngboy, Polo G, and Coco Jones. Um, But those, that's what. The features were not the standout. The standout of this album was how vulnerable TJ was. This was the most vulnerable he's ever been on an album. And, I'm, you know, he got shot seven times like a year ago. Even the song we heard June 22nd, like it was powerful because he was telling y'all about that day, about the plans, like what happened leading up to the the shooting that could have ultimately took his life. Like on a song like Foster Baby on this album, he literally told, he was like, I never told my fans I was adopted. Like, you know, that's like being adopted, being in foster care can cause trauma in someone's life. Like, y'all, I'm a foster kid. Like that can cause so much trauma in your life. And TJ has never, literally never said anything about that until this album like his third album which this third album is his best album so i will say like it took him three out three albums to talk about that which is crazy so you know that's how much like he was keeping from the fans basically from the music but uh, it's not always a bad thing to keep you know we're gonna get into king von in a second you know what I mean? he didn't keep anything but um yeah um yeah, and oh, also the Kid Leroy was a feature. I forgot about that. But yeah, he just was very vulnerable on his album, talking about how he should be gone. How he could have lost his life multiple times, not just during the shooting. And talk, he's talking about like keep going on this album, like where he come from. Like he said, I, I like this one bar. He said, he said, my garage looked like a lot. I don't know. I don't know why I just like that. He's at my garage like a lot. Like just talking about how many cars he got. But yeah, man, definitely the vulnerability and just him saying, like, I'm back. I guess my time, bro. Like, and y'all, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all know A Boogie with the hoodie is my favorite rapper. I will say this. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care the controversy that comes back from this. After this album. Lil TJ is better than A Boogie right now. Like, it's, I hate, like, y'all, I'm like a big A Boogie fan. I hate to say it, but TJ is better than A Boogie right now. This is better than A Boogie's. <sighs> this is better than A Boogie's last two albums. I don't know if TJ will ever have an album better than Hoodie Season, but the this album right now, he's better than A Boogie. So yeah, that's what we that was two two two. That's what I gotta say about it. I love this album. Like that's why it's gonna be hard for me to pick at the end, y'all. I haven't even thought about this video. I'm just I'm spinning off the dome. I don't like to script videos like goofy. Somebody commented that script your videos. No, bro. 
You you make your own videos and script them, huh? Don't tell me what to do. No, nah, I'm just playing. But um, now we're going to get into King Von's grandson, man. <sighs> man, y'all. <laughs> I was so excited for grandson. Y'all, if you're listening on Spotify and you haven't watched my album reaction to grandson or 222, go check them out right now. Like some of my favorite videos I've ever posted um, from the RDs, man. What can I say, man? This is three year old music. Like, Maybe even four years, because we don't know when these songs were made necessarily. They could have been made in 2020. They could have been made in 2019. But this album, I'm glad they named their grandson, because this is King Von. This album displayed everything King Von was when he was here on this planet. Like, everything he was. Like, it, it was, like, so many standout songs on here. Like, I was, okay, y'all, I was happy with Hitman, because I saw the snippet for that years ago, and it was worth the wait, bro. Like, hey, y'all, let me tell y'all this bar he said on Hitman. He said he was trying to go to the NBA, and I was trying to catch me a body. I was like, bro, why would King Von say that, bro? Like, he was like, he said, he was trying to go to the NBA, and I was trying to catch me a body. I'm like, bro, what kind of gangster is this, dude? And y'all, y'all know that's was so crazy. King Von was low key convicted of like, uh, <laughs> like I think he was convicted um, of a murder for a basketball player when he was alive. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not even trying to snitch. This is just what YouTube be saying, but y'all know YouTube is definitely like. It's it's very inaccurate. It could be false news, but somebody I watched a YouTube video one time about King Von, and they definitely said something like that. But y'all, that was just it was just crazy, bro. Like you got the storytelling songs on here. You got robberies. Jimmy, Jimmy is an amazing song. You just got the tough, gritty King Von you wanted on here. Like think I'm a hoe. All we do is drill. Real Oppy feature and G Herbo. The features on here were amazing. You got G Herbo, Polo G, Lil Dirk, T Grizzly, Tink, 42 Doug, Hot Boy, and Money Bag, yo. Um, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Gangland featuring 42 Doug is the best 42 Doug feature I've ever heard. Better than the ones with Lil Baby. Like, I don't know what Vaughn and 42 was doing in the studio that night, but it was crazy. It was definitely crazy, and I felt it. But, um, yeah, bro. I think you just you just got the storytelling, you got the gangster, you even had a couple of love songs. You got well, not love songs, but like melodic, like King Von trying on melodic. You got the out of the streets, you got the jealous, like you had a couple of those. And also, this is a drill album, so that's why I think it's kind of hard to compare Lil TJ's album to King Von's because you're getting. Uh, basically a whole melodic album from Lil TJ and you're getting a whole drill album from King of I. But both of these albums peak so high where like like the these rappers, King Von and Lil TJ peaked on these albums like so much. But y'all don't know what the, what the difference is for me and why I'm gonna pick Grandson as the better album. King Von's music is like he's been he's He's been gone for three years almost. So this music is like three or four years old. And Lil TJ's is new. Like I'm sure most of these songs are new. They're amazing songs, but but like I feel like okay, the only downfall that King Von, the only reason he could have lost is because of the mixing. His album wasn't that well mixed, but it was still so good. I feel like it was still really good. Like they they need to like fix a couple songs. Okay, I ain't gonna lie, they need to fix a couple because the mixing is horrible. But the I feel like for for a King Von album full of songs three or four years old to compete and like be better than this Lil TJ album, I'm giving I'm gonna give it the edge to grandson. But this is not taking anything away from two two two. These are the two best rap albums to drop this year. Don't 
Don't at me. Don't don't say anything to me. These are the two best rap songs to drop this year to me. And I feel like it's it's crazy. Like, yeah, I feel like these are the two best rap albums this year. Yeah. Look, I'll try y'all looking at my phone to make sure, like make sure this fact. Like, and King Von's album was better than Lil Dirk's album almost healed. And that's crazy to say. Yeah, so these are the two best rap albums this year. Literally, no other albums did for me what these albums did. And that's crazy because, <laughs> like, it's crazy, bro. Yeah, man. Lil TJ did his thing. King Von did his thing. But ultimately, I do think Grandson was better. And this is not me being biased in any sort of way. I have been bumping both albums albums consistently super consistently actually and i love them both they're both really great albums i i just i'm aside with grandson but you know my mind could change in the future like after listening to this little tj album a couple times but i think i do think little tj might got the best song out of, out of the two albums with foster baby foster baby it's my favorite little TJ song ever. It's so amazing. I love it so much. But I, let me know what y'all think about this take down below. Did King Von have the better album? Or did Lil TJ have the better album? Let me know what y'all think down below, man. Y'all hit that like and sub button. We on the road to 10K. And we grinding that name for my Spotify listeners. We on the road to 10, 10 follows. And we grinding every week. See y'all next video. <laughs>